Okay, happy Sunday, everyone. Oh, look, we have visitors. So before we get today's, before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to say thank you because we are almost at 50 subscribers. Um, so today's video is gonna be a little different. Excuse me if I sound terrible. <clears throat> I'm just getting over a cold, some allergies, whatever you want to call it. So, whoop. As you know, we lost one of our girls, Miss Wendy. <clears throat> And we are now down to eight hens plus the rooster. Um, these girls are just over two years old, all of them. Um, same thing with the rooster. He might be a couple of days younger than the girls, maybe a week younger than the girls, whatever. Um, so we're having a little bit of an issue. We are down to getting about four to five eggs a day, which is very strange because all winter long, everyone was laying strong. We were getting nine eggs a day with all nine girls. Um, not exactly sure what's causing that. We still have them on 18% protein feed. And as you can see, they're free ranging. We're supplementing them with the kitchen scraps. So we're getting a little frustrated. I'm not sure if it's just because they are aging or what. So, um, we've also been running into an issue where clearly they're either eating eggs, breaking eggs or something of the sort because the pine shavings that we have in their nesting boxes are wet. So, I have not been able to figure out who the culprit is. We separated everyone off one by one, day by day, into our little separation crate here. We would separate out one hen a day, <clears throat> just to see if it was one hen. Excuse me, nosy girl. No. So it's a little dark in here. However, if I can just open this up. <clears throat> we added more nesting boxes. We originally only had two. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. You can't really see. So we originally had these two nesting boxes, the blue one and this gray one. So I went out of my way. Look at these nosy girls. I went out of my way to get two more. Um, surprisingly, they've been liking this top one. Um, three of them laid in here today. And this bottom one, you probably can't see it but those pine shavings are wet. Someone's breaking eggs, eating eggs. I'm not sure. Either way, um, I'm only getting five a day. So I'm a little confused as to what's going on, but it seems like the extra nesting boxes have helped. So now they have more options. So I don't think they're gonna be as crowded. I added more nesting boxes to see if we could separate them out a little bit more. Um, I have not been able to figure out who the culprit is, but they're still breaking eggs or eating eggs. So if anyone has any advice, oh dear, as to, um, how to get them to stop breaking eggs or eating eggs, I would appreciate it because we're having a bit of an issue with this right now. Oh, I guess they're all just going to go back out that way. If anyone's wondering about those stairs, those are dog stairs that you would use to help your small dog get up onto your bed. Um, they just so happened to line up perfectly with this window we added to the coop. Um, I'm pretty sure almost everyone has laid today. Like I said, we're only getting four or five eggs a day. Today I've only gotten four, so there is possibility that I may get one more today, but so far I have not gotten another egg. Oh my gosh, noisy girls. Anyway, we're just gonna leave them in there. <clears throat> so if anyone has any advice on um, what to do about chickens eating eggs, breaking eggs, I'm not sure. We have a little feeder in their run as well. Um, by rent a coop that feeder in the back right there. That is a 10 pound feeder that we specifically fill with grit and calcium just so they have access to it if I don't give them enough when I feed them. I feed them twice a day just because we want to make sure we don't have any leftovers out here. We don't like to leave a feeder out just because it attracts rodents. So we feed them twice a day and every time I feed them I add grit and calcium. And then just um, to be on the safe side to make sure they have enough we have the rent -a coop feeder that we hang. Everyone's just so curious um, that we fill with grit and calcium. 
just so everyone can have enough. So I'm not quite sure what their issue could be, whether it's gonna be a calcium, calcium deficiency, that they're eating their eggs. It can't be protein. Like I said, they're on 18%. Plus we give them black oil, sunflower seeds, which are about 22% protein and they're free range. I have no idea what's going on. It's a little frustrating. I'm, I think it may just be because they're aging. Um, these are Isa Browns. So they're specifically a uh, production breed for eggs. Um, we are considering hatching a few just because, you know, we're down to eight, we would like to ramp up to a few more, probably no more than four. I'm just afraid if we do hatch roosters, we're gonna be in trouble because <laughs> this is our main guy. We don't want any more roosters. So um, that's gonna be the video for today. If anyone has any advice, that'd be fantastic. Drop it in the comments below. And if not, we're just happy that you're here. Like I said, we're about nine subscribers away from 50, which means then we can live stream and we're thinking about setting up a live stream of them during the day. Like when we're at work or something, just so you guys can watch them in your free time, see what they're up to. But yeah, we still need nine more subscribers to do that. But thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.